How's it going everyone? Zach here, Peter Bell of the Rockies. Bringing you some more inventory here. This thing is not quite done yet. You'll notice um, it has everything but the sleeper lights on it. So we're waiting on those. Got some back order issues with our parts, but I uh, wanted to bring it to you guys anyway to let you know it's available and uh, on the front line ready to go. This is a 2022 Peterboat 3D9, the 72 inch flat top sleeper. This is Omaha Orange. You're in Bronco country. Peyton Manning fans out there, Omaha Orange. And uh, I'm gonna do a quick walk around for you guys, show you the ins and outs of this truck. I'll leave my con contact information below. Please reach out with any questions, comments, concerns, specs, and interest. I'm here to help you guys every step of the way. <clears throat> so these things are 280 inch wheelbase. Under the hood, we got a Cummins X15 series, 565 horse, 2050 torque. Behind that, we got an 18 speed Eaton transmission. As you can see, we've decked it out a little bit like we do all of our other ones. We've got a 14 inch drop visor, 6 and 7th marker light there, clear lens. Got the air cleaner lights front and rear here. Rear ones back there. Got the cab lights. The sleeper lights will look just like those. Run all the way back. We'll actually do a drop cowl panel there as well behind that front fender. Kind of show you guys the color here. This is not a metallic flake. This is a standard color. Uh, has a good neon orange look to it, as you can tell. It's a little dirty. Got some snow here lately. But uh, good looking truck. Be good to maybe add some stripes to. Definitely some decaling. These are 11R225 tires. It's a good look at this side. The Moto Mirror 60 inch stacks with the miter cut. 150 gallon fuel tank here on the passenger side. Toolbox, toolbox access step here to the deck plate. Got your six load lights here on the back when I get out of the sun here. There you go. Nice Hodge built quarter fenders. Peterbilt wheels all the way around. Gotta have Peterbilt wheels. <clears throat> nice durable mud flap hangers, LED tail reverse lights. Got a Holland FW35 top plate, 60 inch fifth wheel slide. Got the Peterbilt low air leaf suspension. Big plate access steps here on this side as well. 110 gallon fuel tank capacity on the driver's side. So a lot of people have been asking, these are mid-mark, bin frame, I'm sorry, mid-frame marker lights. These are required from the factory anything longer than 30 feet in total length. They're here for safety, they're here for, you know, light recognition when you're driving down the road and the truck's trying to turn, there's nothing on the mirrors here. All you have is uh, the light there on the back side of the headlight, you can see those um, three little dots, that's actually a blinker. And uh, other than that, you just have the tail lights. So, they put those there for safety. A lot of guys don't like them. You're more than welcome to take them off when you get a truck. Deck or uh, def tank, stainless steel cover. Take you on the inside real quick. <clears throat> you guys have watched any of my previous videos. I build these trucks all the same. Not all the same, but I build them similar because I know what you guys are after. Here's your main gauge cluster here on the dash. Light switches, auxiliary switches there, load lights, ignition, heated mirrors, power mirrors, power windows, and power locks. Got the Cobra CB radio already ready to go. Here's kind of a look at that hood, that drop visor, looks pretty sharp. Full gauge package here. We'll go through, show you guys every gauge. clock just turned right as I was over top of it. Sorry about the sun glare there. There it is. I'm finally out of it. It says front axle there. Got your suspension dump, fifth wheel slide, air slide, inner axle lock, and uh, full lockers. PTO switch as well. Air rocker. Got some auxiliary switches over here. 
the uh, fuel tank selector, ATC, load lights, um, sleeper lights, rear AC. Your auxiliary, auxiliary switch there will be for your uh, cab sleeper lights. Got your stereo, climate control. Here's your engine brake switch, engine fan, regen, cruise control. This toggle switch here controls this. Let me turn on the truck here and be able to see it. Maybe. There it goes. So you can see the going through the uh, settings there. That's what that controls. 18 speed. Sorry about that. Got a phone call during my video. As you guys know, I really don't do anything professional. Everything is on my iPhone. Open up these curtains a little bit. I'll kind of show you the sleeper. So we got a compartment up here. There's the closet down there. A little bit of storage up there. Here's some more storage here on the driver's side. Cubby up top. Some more closet space. These do have a fuel fired heater in them, a bunk heater, it's S bar. There's an ashtray, alarm clock, climate control in the back, and a uh, rear sleeper light. Here's a good look at the uh, dash from the sleeper point of view. Use all the noise. There's still plastic on this thing, as you can see, so it's nice and noisy. There you guys have it 2022, hot off the press. Peterbilt 389, long hood with a 72 inch flat top sleeper. As you can see, we got the sixth and seventh marker light there. 14 inch drop visor, air cleaner lights, cab and sleeper lights. Cab, the uh, sleeper lights are on their way. We'll be here in a little bit. But this thing is ready to go on the front line. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, want some specs, have any interest in this thing, we do offer financing. We are here to help. My information is below. Give me a call, shoot me an email, whatever you guys need. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.